Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. Today's video, I am tackling my kitchen and I am doing a kitchen deep clean as part of my fall cleaning series. There is a series ongoing on my channel right now where I'm going through my house and deep cleaning each room, getting ready for the holidays, getting ready for winter, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I am going to link the playlist at the end of this video so you can check out the videos that I have already done, but I will be uploading new videos weekly as part of this series. So today's video, I am tackling my kitchen. And honestly, guys, my kitchen wasn't that bad just because uh, for anybody new here, we renovated our kitchen back in July, J June, July. So I did a lot of deep cleaning then. So like underneath my fridge and stove, like really weren't that bad. Um, I didn't clean the walls since I had just done that uh, again in July. But for the sake of this video uh, and for the sake of the series, like it wouldn't be deep cleaning if I didn't do my kitchen. So that is what I am doing. So I am starting with my stove and also my vent hood. And I got to be honest with you guys, uh, this was the first time ever I've used a magic eraser. I know. Like, where am I? Like, am I even considered like a housekeeper? Like, <laughs> am I even considered good at cleaning if I haven't used a magic eraser? But no, I haven't. I have gone 29 years without using a magic eraser. So I tried them out for the first time. And I got to be honest, I wasn't that impressed with what it did to the oven. Uh, I really need to run a self-clean on my oven. You guys are going to have to trust me that I am going to do that. Uh, but oh my goodness, my vent hood, I thought that that was the color of it. And no, it wasn't. It was literally years of grime that the magic eraser took off. So you will see that. I wish I kept the audio because I was just like screaming at my husband. I was like, oh my God, you have to come in and look at this. Look at how good it looks. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where I'm starting with. I am addicted to magic erasers. I went out and I bought a like 12 pack. Oh my God. So as far as the stovetop and the vent hood, the magic eraser definitely did the job. It looks so good. So that is where I am starting.
So you just saw me do my sink and I love soft scrub on a sink. Like I just, I don't think that anything cleans it as well as soft scrub. I love, love, love how my stainless steel sink comes out after that. So that is a favorite. Um, but I also wanted to let you know uh, how my favorite way or my favorite way to clean the microwave is, is you cut up a lemon, you put it in two cups of water and you microwave it for, I, I have to do six minutes. It depends on the wattage. Um, and I just love that. It's totally natural. There's no scrubbing. You can just like wipe it out with a damp cloth after. But I really like that because that also um, desanitizes. De What's the word I'm looking for? Sanitizes, deodorizes um, the microwave vents because I know mine can get really stinky and like smell like popcorn or like tomato sauce or something like that. So I really, really like that way to clean my lem to clean my lemon to clean my microwave. And I just wanted to share that with you. Um, but yeah, so here I am. I'm going to move on to my small appliances. I did want to let you guys know that I didn't do my cabinets, like the inside of my cabinets or the drawers in this video. Um, I know that a lot of people are going to be like, well, that's not a real deep clean then. But like I said, I did just deep clean my kitchen in June. So I am going to link that video at the end of this video. If you are interested, you can check it out. Um, honestly, I just, I'm not about to just deep clean my cabinets twice. That That's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm just being real and honest with you guys. Um, so you can definitely check out the other video if you are interested and that is where I tackle um, all of the inside of my cabinets as well as my drawers. It's been a while, oh, haven't felt this way in a long time. Can I tell it's a little crazy in my mind Crazy, crazy It gets a little crazy in my mind Crazy, crazy Gets a little crazy It gets a little crazy
So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I'm going to wrap up underneath the stove. And honestly, like I said, the stove and the fridge weren't that bad just because I had just done that a couple months back. Um, I did cut out some of my cabinet washing just for time's sakes, but you guys are going to have to trust me that I did clean all my cabinets. I think I just left in um, the top half, which is what you're going to watch right now, but I did clean the bottom half. Uh, and as well, I'm going to move on to my floor and that is going to be it for my kitchen deep clean. Um, again, I'm kind of just doing it for the sake of this series, but honestly, like my kitchen wasn't that bad I'm very excited that I got my stove done because I think that one was the one that really needed the most as well as my fridge um underneath my fridge was pretty yucky like where the um like the the grids are where I do like take off like the front plate of it but as far as like underneath it it really wasn't that bad so that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I have to run a self-clean on the oven. You have to trust me. And as well as I didn't do the dishwasher since I did have dishes in it, but I do need to clean out the food trap in the dishes and I in the dishwasher. And I do need to um, like run a sandy rinse through the dishwasher. So that is on my list still. But I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm really happy to hear that you guys are like cleaning alongside of me, and I'm happy that it's providing like motivation and inspiration. Um, and I'm super excited to. Just just roll into the holidays especially with a super clean kitchen we do entertain quite a bit so the kitchen is the heart of the home so it is very nice to have a very very clean kitchen so I love you guys forever make sure you come back uh, like I said new videos will be uploaded weekly I love you guys from the bottom of my heart and I will see you in my next video